Okay, this one here is we're going to create a, a table. Uh, it has a they call it a window schedule, but we're going to put text in there. Look, looks a little bit kind of complex, but if we take it step by step, it's not too bad. So let's go ahead and get started with this first table up here. Looks like they got a um, a line down here divided, but it's not exactly uh, evened up. But we'll go ahead and get the first table drawn first, then we'll decide where we're going to put those lines. So the first angle line is 6.25, since it's six and a fourth. So let's go ahead and draw that one. So I have my ortho line, so I get a straight line, so it's 6.25. Next line, we're going to offset is 0.5, and then offset 3 eighths. So we're going to go O enter, 0.5 for the half. O enter, 3 divided by 8. If you know the fraction for 3 eighths, you can type that in as well. And then we go, in, go ahead and offset by 1 fourth. O enter, 0 0.25. 0 0.25 is the same thing as 1 fourth. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so we should have seven lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and draw a line here, there, here to there. Let's take a look next. I've got to offset 1 half, and then 1 and 3 fourths. So O enter, 1 half is 0.5. Let's trim that top piece off. Okay. Offset this one one and three fourths, which is one point seven five. O enter one point seven five. And then offset two point five. So it's O enter two point five. Okay, so we got the table. Now let's go ahead and put the dimensions on. Dimensions are in dim. Let's go ahead and go in here and change a little bit up because notice how things are, under, are in different units. Before we used to work with decimals. Now these are in architectural and these dimensions are also lining up uh, with the text here. So i to change that as well. So let's go into the last button on our dimension toolbar. Click on that. Go to modify. Modify. Change everything for us. Let's come to primary units. Go to architectural and the fraction format, let's go ahead and get it so that it's diagonal. Let's see what that looks like there. Yeah, let's go ahead and put it as not stacked. That way it looks like more like the book. Okay, so not stacked. We also need to change something else. Let's go to the text. Come to where it says align with dimension line. We want that one checked. Click OK, click close, and then let's take a look at that first dimension to make sure Looks like what we want it to have. Okay, that's kind of what we want, right? Six and a fourth. And then we got to have, oh, we have to actually draw those. Sorry, let's go back and draw this little line here. I got this little part. I'll take more off. Okay, and then we'll go back in, uh, click the circle, go to the midpoint, and go to perpendicular. Midpoint perpendicular. Midpoint perpendicular. Midpoint perpendicular. Okay. Now I can go back to the dimensions. So the dimensions are. There's the half. I gotta move that half over there, don't I? Uh, let's go. Dimension text edit. We'll have to play with that in a little bit. Okay, get the next one. One, three, four. Uh, let's go um, a two and a half. Let's go ahead and leave that half in right there. I don't like how the book has it on top of there. It doesn't look too good, so we'll keep it this way. Uh, another dimensions are these three up here, so let's go ahead and get those in there. So looks like they got that one fourth one first sticking out. So let's go do that. And they got it out on the top. Okay, let's get the next two. Half. Oh, 
Oops, looks like I messed up on this. It's supposed to be three eighths. Three eighths. All right, so this should have been three eighths. So I, let's see if I want to fit this real quick. I can, it's easy to do that. So I'm going to go O enter three divided by eight. Click on that. Hopefully you didn't make the same mistake I did. I'm going to go ahead and trim this real quick. Uh, this is actually my first fourth. I want to keep that one. Oops. Uh, let's go back and let me just trim that again. It's easier not to make the first time. But happens. Okay, so there's the three eighths. And then I can go ahead and just get rid of this line. Now I'll move these guys up. So I'll select these guys. Move button. Okay. Kind of change some of these things a little bit, so I'm going to actually have to put this back on it real quick, I guess. So this half is going to go back on. This one I'm going to have to read, or actually bring this one down to there. Okay, so hopefully you didn't make that same mistake as I did. There's the half. Let me get rid of that. Okay, let's try those dimensions now real quick. Real quick. Use that pencil or say button. Put it up here. There's the three eighths. Okay. Then there's the half. Okay. All right. So that's that first first one right there. Okay. So I'm gonna actually move this just a little bit over because I can see how we're gonna kind of run out of room a little bit. Okay. Now let's go ahead and uh, copy that table, and then we're gonna do what they tell us to do for these next lines right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy the whole thing. Turn on that ortho. And then just get rid of these dimensions real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and they looks like they drew in some diagonal lines. And then they offset it one sixteenth. Okay, and then a diagonal line. Okay, so let's go and do that. Take off my ortho. Okay. Now they offset that one sixteenth to the right. So O enter one divided by sixteen offset that mine actually two lines, but yours should be one complete line if you did yours uh without that mistake like I'd okay, so we have that. Let's go ahead and go now to the dimensions. So we got one sixteenth. Oh, I gotta get a big line up here, don't. Okay, let's go to dim. Oops, wrong. Uh, why is it one eighth? Uh, I think I know why. We have to go back in here. Go to modify. Go to architectural. Primary units, and then see where here is set to one eighth. We have to actually set it to even smaller size to one sixteenth. That's going to let us do that. Now let's go ahead and do the right one. There's one sixteenth. 
Okay. And then we got one sixteenth. Where's that other sixteenth? Oh, it's like we got to get these offsets here. They come up too offsetted. All right, so let's get those offsetted as well. Oh, enter one sixteen. All right, and then it's these two, right? One sixteenth. Yeah. Okay. It's got two dash lines, so we have to actually change these guys. See how this has the one dash, and this has got two dash. Let's see if we can go fix those real quick. No, actually, something didn't change these uh, slashes. Actually, we had to change one more thing. For these, come here, go to modify, or actually go to override. Come to symbols and arrows, and let's just click on the obliques. Click OK. Close. Update. Hope that was an update. Update here. Okay, there we go for those. Let me move this guy over a little bit. Get some more room. Okay, we we'll live with that. Uh, this one here too. So let's go select these. Override. Let's have the double ones. It opens now. Architectural tag. Let's see what that is. That's what we want. There's the architectural tag. Okay, so that's that one right there. Okay, so we got that. Now let's go ahead and copy this thing up over to here. And then we go ahead and start putting some text in. Alright. So copy. Get rid of those. All right, let's take a look. Oops. Okay, using line text to put the text inside here. So this one here, snap to midpoint. Window schedule. All right, so just follow me. Let's make sure it's text light. Or right, this one here, we're going to go text heavy. And we're, so using line text is D T enter, J enter, middle. Find the midpoint of that line. Text height. They say anything about the text height on that? Text height on this is three sixteenths. Text height is three sixteenths. Rotation angle is zero. And this says window schedule. Enter twice. Okay, window schedule. All right, so now we got to do these. So let's put those in symbol size type in glazing. DT enter, J enter, M enter. The sizes are one eighth, one divided by eight. Rotation angle zero. Oops, must have clicked somewhere. DT enter. J enter middle. Well, midpoint of the text is here. Three or sorry, one eighth. Enter. Sim. Enter twice. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. So I have to make it. I'm just going to copy this guy. Enter. Grab it from the midpoint. Though. Midpoint. To midpoint. To midpoint to midpoint and it'll just change the name of it. So size type and glazing. 
size type glazing. Okay, so that saved us some time. Now this text inside of here, it's going to be um, justify middle. Looks like the text height is uh, same thing as one eighth. So watch when we do this real quick. We can just go ahead and copy this guy again too. Grab it from the midpoint to the midpoint, 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 midpoint. These are A, B, C, D. Okay. So we got A, B, C, D. Okay, these are worth to put into text slide in, in a little bit, but let's leave it like this for now. Okay, so this one here, uh, we're going to have to justify it at the intersection, so it's just like this. I wonder if it lets us copy that way. No, I guess it doesn't let us. Okay, so we'll type it anyway. Five foot by four foot. DT enter, J enter. Uh, they say what? Justify. Start point. So there is no J enter. Okay. So this one here is called DT enter. Find the intersection right here. Text height is 0.25, which is 1 eighth. Yes, rotating angle zero, yes, and then five foot. We'll just have to do one of these ones and we can copy it. Five foot by four foot. Like that? Yeah, like that. Okay. So, enter twice. Go ahead and let's copy it. Grab it though from the intersection area, which is like this spot, and just copy it under here to there to there, and then we can just change some of the names of them. So this one's five foot, this one's three foot by four foot. So three, three foot by three foot. So this one's three by three, two by three, two by three, okay. Alrighty, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and get these guys here too now, wood fixed. We can actually just copy this text again. Copy, grab it here, bring it right there, okay and just change the name of it. It said what? Wood fixed. And let's just go ahead and copy this guy. Grab it though from the intersection. Put it there. There. Okay, wood fixed. Uh, wood, wood fixed. This one's an aluminum slider. S slider. Aluminum slider. Okay. Now for the glazing 316 sheet. They're all 316 sheets. So let's just go ahead again. Copy. Grab it here. Stick it right there. Uh, I guess I could have just done this. Let me get rid of this. Erase it. And just fix this one. 3 sixteenths inch, what was that, sheet, okay, now we can copy, copy selection, grab it from the intersection, okay, not too bad, right, other than I messed up on one part right there, okay, so there's that, um, yeah, we'll just leave it as a text heavy now, the text, so we can see it better, and then all we have to do is just copy it down here, and erase those, um, those diagonal lines and offset lines. Okay, so copy. Turn on that ortho, get it straight. 
It's kind of lined up more or less, kind of good. Okay, now all we can do is erase, 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 erase. Okay, now let's go ahead and put some of those uh, lines in there. Let's go, let's take off that midpoint. Midpoint, midpoint. And we have perpendicular on, right? Perpendicular. Let's get rid of that endpoint. There we go. Now let's just go where we want. Oh, actually, this should be a border, border. There it is. So, now let me do it. Is it okay? I had to drink, bring it up a little bit past it to, to find my stick, and let's just see if I can just drag it back down. All right, so let's do that, I guess. All right, so let's go ahead and then we'll do a line here. We can go just go ahead and perpendicular, perpendicular. But again, if it's not, grab it, just extend it past a little bit, then go back to it and just drag it back. We have to do what they want. All right, so um, oh, I, think, I think we have to hit what, one more? Oh, just that line right there. Yikes. All right, bring this guy across, I guess. Okay. Uh, then we should just type in step one, two, three, and four. So let's just go like this. A good size is this one here. Copy. Copy. Take out that ortho. And that's good. And let's go step one. Is that how it is? Yeah, step one. Step two, step three, step four. Okay, so it took a little bit of time, but it wasn't too bad once we broke it up. So just try not to make the same mistake I did. Just make sure you get your offsets correct on that so you don't have to go back like I did. All right, so good enough.